I would say, you can ring my bell. <laughs> you can ring my bell. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady, and welcome to my channel. Well, today we are at the Lancaster Goodwill, the big Goodwill, as we call it. Um, it is 2.59, I haven't changed my clock yet, um, in the afternoon, so I'm not sure if they are done stocking for the day, but we're going to go in and check. We're going to see what we can find that we can buy and look for a profit. Here we go. Well, Dagny is not here yet, but I told her I'd go really, really slow <laughs> while we wait for her. She's two stoplights away. I like this guy, chalkware uh, donkey, I guess, Italian bisque, direct from Italy. He was probably part of a nativity is what I'm thinking. It would be great if we could find the rest of it, but just a little donkey I don't think is going to be worthwhile. Button soup. That's a fun book. What's going on with our cart? What is this? Oh, it's such a shame his nose is broken. He would have been so cool. Hey, Bells. Now you gotta sing the song. You can ring my bell. <laughs> you can ring my bell. <laughs> Did you see these? I knew you'd think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a fun plate. Shame it's got chippies on the edges. What are these? Handmade starched snowman. Oh my gosh. They're so adorable. Somebody was trying to charge $15 a piece for that, and I guess they couldn't get it, or they just donated it to the Goodwill. I really love those. Maybe I could give a few of those away as gifts for Christmas. A starched Soon Ant Man bowl. 99 cents each. Look at that! $6.99. Oh, he's great. I have one of those already at the shop, so <laughs> you can have those can I have if you want. <laughs> yes. He's cute. Oh, I literally have one sitting on my desk at the shop. But I wasn't sure who made it. It's a secret. He was That's just adorable. like such a cute little piggy. Look his little butt. Yeah. He is cute. I thought so. <laughs> That's why old? I have one. Is he old? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, he's got somewhere yeah. on the bottom. And like his kid, he, he used to have a painted face. He's cute. He just got here yesterday. Oh. He's fresh off the cart. We have a, oh look. It's a jack-o'-lantern. I wonder if you're supposed to put like a little tea light in there. Unfortunately, he's got a chip. What? This? Oh, that pig. I'm like, wait, you want the pumpkin? Oh look, there's all your milk glass. I thought that was a lid. I was like, well, I wonder what that's a lid to, but it's just a dish. Oh look, here. It's an angel with something on a bridge. Here's another uh, craft project. It says eek on the bottom. 99 cents. That might be something that we stuff away until next Halloween. Okay, stand up. Does he? Okay, he does stand up. We're good. Oh, is this, this is perfume. Maybe. Yeah, Elizabeth Arden. Oh, there you go. Do you think this is fun? Oh, oh yeah, with the signature, yes. I would say yes. I would say... Oh! Did you think I was going to drop it? 
No, I'm too good for that. I didn't drop it. <laughs> a donkey here. I kind of liked him, but he is Opal House, so he's modern target. He needs his flower there, though. Eek. I like the glaze on there. Hmm. Art pottery. <laughs> that turkey platter? I have one. What do we have down here? We've got stamps. $1.99. It puts the wrinkles out of your face. <laughs> what? <laughs> there you go. Go braless. <laughs> We've got a unicorn. We've done decent on stamps recently. Um, but the problem is I don't really know much about the brands. I usually just grab the stamps that I think are fun. I think this one is fun. <laughs> stamps happen. So I think I'll grab this one for $1.99. This isn't a crack. I think it's for stamps. Okay, well, you know, you've got to be so technical about things, and I'm just like, oh, it's broke. <laughs> What is it? I like that. I think it's wood lacquer. Birds on it. That is pretty. Yeah, it's like a lacquer. $1.99. Pretty little dish. Oops, we'll stick it in there. Alright, so we are skipping around in aisles because it's a little crazy here right now. This is $2.99. No, it's I don't know which 99 it is. There's no markings on it. I'm thinking it's maybe Italian. Is it? No. It's Salmon Falls. Oh, and a clock. It's a Salmon Falls clock. Right? You have to be really good at telling time to have this clock though because there's not even any numbers on it. Be like, it's time to go to the small house. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. Do you like a cookie? Oh, it has a chip there. That's neat. Is it marked? No. No, I love the shape of it. The shape has that thing. That's different. It is. I approve. I like it. I've got more stamps in here. All the stamps are showing up now. Those guys have been pulverized. I wonder what that is. I'm just not sure. Italy. A little creamer and a sugar, but it's all pulverized. Everything is. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that dog. What do you think of the dog? What kind of dog is that? That looks like Bulldog-ish dog. I'm not sure if that's old or not. It's pottery. Oh, that is sweet. It is Czechoslovakia. Mm -hmm. It's a little chippy on that edge You don't want it? No. I think it's just paint chips. It's not actually chip chips. It's a shame the lid is broken off of that. Ooh. Here's a telephone. What is it? Please let that be in there. Look. I hope that's in there. Oh, oh, oh. That's oh. the moment of truth. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that. It's got a flower in it. Isn't that pretty? There's no damage either. Is that, is the flower? Glass. Yeah, the whole thing is glass. I kind of like it. I can't see. It looks like it has a sticker under a sticker. Regardless, it's pretty. Yes. I like the pattern on that. It's modern. Oh, there's a matchy match over there, even. Ooh, what do we have here? 
Is that American Girl doll? No, it's not. I know the American Girl doll TVs have some value. It's not, no. I mean, it could be used with American Girl doll, but it's not. Those are nice. The little uh, salt and pepper shakers. They're made of plastic. Two little mice. 99 cents. Take those. We've got some Christmas tree plates here, but they do have an angel on top. I believe they have to have Santa on top to be spowed. It's a shame this little figurine is broken there on the finger. Mama's helper. Maybe I need another one. Is it Santa though? Or is it Einstein? Wow. How do I get it down? Oh, he's wearing a mask. Is he? Or does he just not have a face? He's got marks under his... I don't know. What does it say? Maybe that's the maker mark? I don't know. It's... Weirded me out a little. He has no mouth. I know. I think that's that's where I'm having that? an issue. <laughs> maybe maybe if you had a mouth, but probably not. <laughs> Did you see the little angel? Modern. Tis the season. It's in this box. What are they? Oh my, okay. Here we've got another one. Is it the same face? No, it's not. <laughs> Alright, so the brown aisle was a little crowded the first time we passed by. So, we're going to revisit it. Oh my gosh, look. We had seen one of these at Antiques Marketplace of Des Moines. And took it home. I was curious who made it when I was there, but I was too nervous to pick it up and turn it over because it was a little bit bigger than that. Oh wow. I was thinking that those plates were uh, made to look old. Uh, one of them unfortunately has a giant chunk out of it. So I think we're gonna pass utensils. It's probably from Target. Well, I spotted this over in the blue section and I pulled it through the wire. It's marked A. Hooper, Ireland on the bottom. I think I was wondering if we could find a lid for this. I wonder what it is. Maybe an egg coddler? I'm not 100% sure. Let's we'll stick it in here and see if we can find anything else that goes with it. This is nice. What is it though? I wonder if it's a, a strainer for tea because it's got holes in the bottom. Maybe that's the lid on the bottom. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Ooh. What do we have here? Those are enamel. Made in China. Bumper harvest. Are they? One ninety nine each. I think we could make make a profit on those for sure, but especially with the holidays coming up, eh, maybe I'll grab those. If we don't, if we decide not to ship them, they could be a booth item. Wow, what is that? A giant cookie jar that I don't need. Something just fell. I think it was a. I don't know what it was. Probably an ornament. Action. How old is it? <gasps> Let's see. I've got like styrofoam on my pants. 1950. 
Ah. That looks like a good one. I like that one. I think I'll take that one. Goose. I'm, that one's boring, though. 1961. Yep. Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. Good. Nikki. That was Nikki's book. 1970. 1970. Hmm. Yeah. It still is 50 years old. So 51. These look more modern. Yeah, 1986. That one is new. That's no. 1990s. That one. That one, this one. The saggy, baggy elephant. Yeah, okay, but it has this, though. Oh, right. 74? Yeah, 47 and 74. I still like it. It's a great year. 1974 is an excellent <laughs> year. Let's see, Rin Tin That's all yellowed on the pages. 1955. 1955? I think I'll take that one. Peter Pan, you stay on the shelf. Maybe we should pick up some VHS tapes. A little Talavera back here that we somehow missed. I wonder if they're little cups. They do look like little cups. Oh, it says stuff on M and D. Oh, they're personalized. Oh, these could be for my parents. Oh. Christmas gift. There you go. You got one for your sister. <laughs> now you got one you for got your parents. <laughs> You're all set, pretty there. much. I'm done. Yeah, now we have to sort search over here for Jenny. I actually need one of these because I don't have one. And every morning, I'm like looking through the car for something to scrape the windshield. Now, I'm going to have this little guy. And we won't be late for school anymore. It's that easy. It's not a clothesline. It's, it's the actual that, tell me thing. It's not a clothesline. I mean, I'm sure that's how the idea came about. Is somebody was doing their laundry and they thought, you know what? I could use this <laughs> to lose weight and get trim. Because I already have my sauna exercise suit. <laughs> Look, that's just like the Peloton. It is. It's just like my Peloton that's collecting dust right now. You need that pedal exerciser, too. That looks... Oh, advanced. Oh, here you Whoa. go. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, hi. All you need is a doorknob. <laughs> I, I, don't, I can't even respond to this. In the original box. It's new old stock. It is. Are you sure? It's only $3. I'm going to have to think about it. I might look at this closet, but then it's done. Oh, I can't imagine. Can you imagine having a TV in your closet? Is that a that TV? tiny little TV computer. <laughs> I think it's a computer. It's chipped. Trustman and vote. I think is how it's pronounced. All these sunglasses, and this is a. I don't know. What, no, it's for cards. Yes. Every time I find these, they're always missing a foot. I wonder why that is. I don't know. But it's like every single time, they're always missing a foot. That one's merino wool. Okay, that one would be good. This is good. Nick picks. I like Nick picks. And then someone started oh, to make coasters. Oh, yeah. This is bulky yarn. It's like roving yarn. Um, it's so, it's soft. Yeah. It's good yarn. You're my yarn critic. I am, I am a yarn Snobby. <laughs> Snobby oh look! How to make organic dog treats. What is it? It's a something for your dog. Interesting. Oh, it's a cage. Look how fancy that would be. That is really fancy. And you could have a lot of friends over. Yeah, I just don't think that's something I want to deal with shipping. Someone's going to come in here and be like, this is what I was looking for. Just spotted these on this shelf, and unfortunately, they've got lots of chippies on them. It's kind of a bummer. And the more I move them around, they're getting more chips, so I'm going to stop touching them now. All right, well, we are heading up towards the checkout now. We've got Shopkins for Juliet, an ice scraper for me, and a few other odds and ends. I think I'm most excited for the paperweight. But I will get back to you guys in the car with our total. We've got a Russian nesting doll there that I noticed as I was walking out of the store. I've already checked out, but I think I'm going to get back in line for that. She already opened one. I already opened one. It was kind of... Is there five? I think one's missing between this one and this oh. one. <laughs> oh, a baby. Little baby. Is there four then? 
Yes, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. One missing. Is it still worth it to get back in line for one missing? No? Shoot. And one's broken. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, shoot, I'm like all butterfingers. I can't today. I must drop the Fenton Bell. I must drop the little nesting doll. You can't all drop right. anything else. No. That was it. Alright, I'm gonna leave it. Okay. It's the one pretty lady. <laughs> Alright, well, as promised, we were back in the car with our total spend, which was $45. I feel like we got some good stuff today for $45. I'm very excited about that paperweight. Um, it seemed to be well made because there wasn't a whole lot of bubbles in the paperweight. Um, but yeah, I think we're getting out of here now. I'm going to hit the road and head home. Um, but I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.